one of the one of the very first lessons that I had I had to figure out earlier on was it takes a lot of discipline mm. and or confidence for you to say, you know what, I'm going to walk away from the nine to five and I'm going to go ahead and start up my own business. Because, again, there's no although you do have business school, but the real life experience is what really teaches you. So it's going it, to it really took a lot of confidence first off and oh. then the, the sense of discipline. Meaning that, you know, every day you rise again, there's no boss there. There's no one telling you that you have to set up meetings and how to actually attain clients, you know, who is actually your market. So it was that discipline of being able to understand that every day that you rise, every minute of every day had to be productive. Okay, so it it came down to discipline as well as making sure that I had the self-confidence to make that jump. Cool. So every day I you- can go on and on, guys. So yeah, I mean, what, however many questions you want to ask. I, again, I so every day basically you wake up, you do something that makes you healthier, and you do something that makes Absolutely. you wealthier. Absolutely, wow. okay. I like that. I just came. Just came I like out. that. Just came out. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna copyright that. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. I'm gonna start selling it over on the freeways. Nice bumper stickers. Exactly. <laughs> so how do you see yourself uh, scaling the company? Well, long term, I mean, I what. How one of my goals was to always well, actually run a venture capital firm. Oh, and yeah. for, for those that don't know what venture capitalism is, what, what is that? Venture capitalism is basically you have investors mm-hmm. that invest in young, profitable, viable businesses. And gotcha. normally you hear the word with a lot of tech companies because obviously with the booming of Facebook and Twitter and these guys, they needed, you know, a, a lot of rounding of actual funding from these big, what they call abbreviated VCs. So in order, I mean, one day, you know, further on, I would want to be able to to open up a first Samoan venture capital firm. I already have the name. Wow. Con- Conscious Capital. Nice. Yes. Conscious Capital, mainly because I want to invest in businesses that have a social purpose behind it. You know, we have a great radio station, by the way. <laughs> name of the name of radio. Yeah, nice. no, I was thinking about that when Where I walked in, and I yeah. said, hey, you know what? They got these. More they got these willing. two very handsome, very handsome, handsome. hosts. I would say one but, and a half. Okay, yeah, they got well, face made for radio. Yeah. <laughs> right here, right here on the bottom. Now we're really going to see their face. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, are, are you are you working on any pr- current projects right now? Yeah, well, the the, the actual co- clients that I actually have on board, we got a, you know a plethora of talent. There we go, Berkeley. Yes. Uh huh. Berkeley's in the house. T word. <laughs> again, it's it's more so promoting young entrepreneurs, artists, and athletes. And even young techie guys that, or even construction guys that want to start up their own company. So got you. We we have fashion design. We got a, a, a young um, fashion fashion design group, mm-hmm. graphic artists, a couple artists and athletes that are on board, and a lot of upcoming events that they're going to be doing. Specifically, one that's on May twenty fifth. Okay. Efren Esquivez is a professional yeah. boxer. Yeah. So shouts out to Efren Esquivez and. We're going to go out to Connecticut. It's going to be live on ESPN. Wow, yes. that's big. Yeah. So Bad Habit will be on a little later, and he's going to talk about all the stuff that he has upcoming. Okay, so that's two of the main things that we got going. But my main focus is to be able to let all the listeners know, especially if you're a young entrepreneur and you want to start up your own business and you just don't know how as far as making sure that you have the business fundamentals in place. Gotcha. You can visit our website, brandbrokerbottomline.com. Okay. okay. Say that okay. one more time. Brandbrokerbottomline.com. Yeah. Or you can email us at info at brandbrokerbottomline.com. So any information, again, I'm more than willing to, to collab on any you know uh, advice that you may need as far as starting up your own business, but making sure that you understand that it's going to be a journey. Okay. Yeah. And it's a day in, day out struggle. Greatness is, is only achieved, and it's only achieved throughout a process, and it's not overnight. Mm. Now, la- ladies and gentlemen, um, if you did not, if you were unable to, to write that down, feel free to go on Facebook, check mm-hmm. us out on uh, BeetleNutRadio.com, or go to the Barbecue Hour on Facebook, our Facebook profile, and, and check out all the great things that Favai Favai is doing over at BrandBrokerBottomLine.com. Now, before I let you go, you, oh, this is done? No, no. This, oh, well, no, hey, no. Hey, hold on. This isn't I done. I got all night. But, but you know what? I need to give a plug out for my boy, Joe Sav. He's looking to start an ant farm company. <laughs> and so um, in terms of investing, hmm. what advice would you give him? Oh, ant wow. farming. I'm, I'm, you know, <laughs> honestly, that, no, if, we, if I started the venture capital firm today, I, I really don't have a passion for <laughs> ant farming. 
So, now do you have to have a passion for yes, whatever yes. you invest? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. You got to know where your money's going. So, uh, and farming, I would have to pass it on to someone else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that being said, you represent athletes. You work with uh, famous choreographers, uh, NFL players, uh, and your passion is obviously music because you also work with uh, singers and mm -hmm. hip hop artists. Is that correct? Absolutely. And so, so. In the building, we have actually somebody that, that you represent, yes. and his name is Be Habit. Be Habit. Be Habit will, is definitely in the building. He'll be um, answering some questions as well as telling everybody exactly what his passion is about, his music, and his uh, upcoming events. I, I also want to I, – I forgot to direct plug to my man, Brian Fort. Okay. I know he's listening. Brian and, and Joe know each other. He's an up-and-coming uh, artist, acrylic artist. He's going to be – uh, premiering his art at the Sevilla on the 26th of April. Okay, okay. You go on the Facebook page and buy some tickets. Again, it's only $10 come support. Great artists like uh, Brian Fort and what he's doing there. And uh, do I have enough time to go ahead and, you know, a couple, a couple ahead, company shout-outs? <laughs> sure, do, do the shout-outs. Man, is that possible? Or Yeah, man. Yeah, I thought you guys had more questions for me. <laughs> so I was going to go on and on. All it's right. a barbecue hour, bro. Not, 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 oh. not barbecue week. Because I am looking for the barbecue. <laughs> Even though I'm vegan, I'm sure you have vegan barbecue somewhere, right? Yeah, I wanted a, a company, a couple company shout outs. A yeah. great friend of mine, Rob Penny with MissionDrivenBrand.com. Okay. Yes, he's doing a lot of great things there. So looking him up. Again, the Samoan entrepreneur. Myron Mailo with Ohana Wellness, based right there in the great city of Carson. Oh, and my man, Andre Tuau. Yes, Big Dre with Team Uso. Yeah. My man, uh, George and Arnold, that's doing a lot of the Polynesian All-Star Classics. All the I great things they're doing there. My man, Mike, AJ, and Fred at Banning, also doing their football camps with nice. the young kids, especially what's going on in Wilmington. A lot of stuff, you know, unfortunately oh, yeah. has been going on there. But, again, we're, we're trying to create a positive movement for the young kids. Brandon, uh, that's at Narbonne. A lot of great things he's doing there. My man, Hagoth Iono. Uh, up and coming movie director. We're actually gonna have Van Faden, okay, that's uh, he's a part of Hagothiono.com, as well as David Thomas is supposed to be here, but he made you know upcoming artists, right? Yeah. That may step in yep. with his with his group, my man Chris and, and Ground Up Entertainment. So uh -huh. shout out to those guys. Ground up in the building. And then uh again, uh more shout outs. Okay. <laughs> Lomi for Vibe with Green Locker Group. Okay. We got an up and coming uh, festival that's coming. I'm sitting on the board for that. My, my, my brothers are all on the board. Pacific Grooves Festival. Uh. Okay. It's going to be the largest Pacific Islander music and arts festival. Okay. July 28th. Yeah. 2012. So make sure you come out and support that. So, so we all these. All these shout outs, we can, we can post it on our uh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. absolutely. So, so all, ladies and gentlemen, please check out. Favai's uh, website, and, and you'll, you can find that through the Barbecue Hour, through BeetleNetRadio.com. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that we have some time for our in-house guests. Okay. Yeah. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is a monumental occasion for the Barbecue Hour. This is the first time. That, oh, that's right. That, you know what I mean? So I want to make sure, and Favai, not to cut you off, I want to make sure that we leave enough time for bad habit, ladies and gentlemen. Bad habit. Put your hands together for that. Yeah. Yeah.